Well, it's time to imagine better health with CHI Health. Today's focus, new options available to people who have considered bariatric surgery. Well, traditional bariatric surgery is better if you need to lose 100 pounds or more. One new option, though, can help those who are 50 pounds overweight. So let's learn more with CHI Health bariatric surgeon Cal Nandipati. Doctor, Hi, good doctor. to see you. It's nice, nice to have you back. Thanks for by. I think a lot nice of people are excited you. about these non-surgical options, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. it, it's some, can you go home the same day? Yes, these are outpatient procedures, and then you go home the same day, and they are tolerated really well. Mm -hmm. One of the non-surgical yes. options that you're excited about, you wanted Let's to about tell it. our viewers about it, I'm holding it. Yes, it's what called is this? a gastric balloon. Mm -hmm. This is recently approved by FDA for non-surgical weight loss option. Mm -hmm. And this is done with an endoscopy as an outpatient procedure, and you can see this is the balloon that is actually sits inside the stomach. And, and and this is inflated while the patient is under a light anesthesia What's sedation. What's inside the balloon? It's just a plain, simple saline so solution. So it's totally solution. safe. Yeah. Yeah. Very safe procedure. So it's deflated, and then it goes in through the mouth, yes. down the throat, yes. into the stomach, and then yeah. that's where you inf inflate it, with the, uh, fill up with the saline. saline. Yeah. And we're taking a look at the so actual So you can diagram. see actually the picture, live video, and you see that balloon which is actually placed in the stomach with an endo endoscopy. You can see the scope right next to it, and we started inflating and that sits right in the stomach. And then after once you have it inflated in the stomach, we actually take the tube out, and then you know you take the scope out. And then the balloon stays for six months inside the patient, mm -hmm. and uh, mainly it works. You can see patients feel full once you eat, and you, it actually induces satiety really, very early. So I think uh, that's two important things. One is you feel full, and you're not hungry all the time. Mm -hmm. Those are the two important mechanisms it works. Mm -hmm. So it is very suitable for people who are, you know, doesn't want to, doesn't need to lose too much weight. You know, it's not like bariatric surgery is required for everybody. So like what, how, how much weight do you think a good so candidate is if they want to lose 20 so pounds? Average 25? weight is about 30 to 40 pounds. 30 to 40. Mm -hmm. Average weight. And then this weight is sustained up to a year. So if you are a person who tried everything to lose weight and then you can't lose that final 30, 40 pounds. I'll give you an example. So if you had three or four kids and you tried to lose all the weight, and initial 15, 20 pounds is really easy to lose, and after that is really difficult. Mm -hmm. And that's where mm -hmm. some of the procedures like this one. And you, know, you generally don't want to go for weight loss surgery at this time, you know, expensive and also invasive procedures. Mm -hmm. This is less invasive, outpatient procedures, and you can go home on the same day, and it is reasonably well tolerated, and then balloon stays with you for six months. And then after six months, you, you take get, it out? You take it out with the same endoscopy procedure. That's, it's another outpatient procedure. Mm -hmm. It is done in the same way that you had it done in the mm -hmm. initial placement. Do you have a special diet or yes. regimen? Yeah. All, I mean, the, those components oh, are yeah. important to understand. It is. it is actually very important that a balloon is not alone let you lose all the weight. It's the life adjustment, which you already we think we can guide you through, and it is the diet adjustments that you needed along with the exercise program. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are all the three together with the balloon makes you successful. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. And that's actually the long-term option also. You know, mm -hmm. Even if you take out the balloon, you know how to eat actually better. And then you've gotten the kickstart that you want to lose uh, another 30, 40 pounds with the balloon. Yeah. That's where the balloon is very useful. That's not the lazy person's way to lose yes. weight. I no. mean, you still have to do all these other oh, yes. things. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So don't think you're going to come in and put this thing in your it's belly and say, hey, I'm going to lose uh, all this weight. But, but there's it's, this it's an awesome tool. Yeah, it is. And that's not surgery, it is which not you know surgery. maybe maybe you didn't want, and maybe you're not even a candidate for yes. that. It's for yes. it's for everybody else. It's an answer there. Exactly, mm -hmm. you, you got it. There's a second option. Yes, that we wanted so to we're talk actually to you about. we're actually excited to talk about the second option also, which is for people who actually had a bariatric surgery. Uh -huh. So especially if you had a gastric bypass, which is being done for more than 40 years mm -hmm. across the country, and it is very successful. The success rate is about 70 percent. But you have that 30% people who is not very successful are gaining weight after some time. So, for example, you got a gastric bypass, are also called as Ruan Y procedure. You lose about 150 pounds, but everybody gains a little bit more. Uh, some people want to lose more. Mm -hmm. Because of the procedure-related issues, you might not able to lose some weight. Mm -hmm. So that initial, initial, that additional 40 pounds that you want to lose can be easily lost by the second procedure that we're going to talk about. This is also a non-surgical option. Mm -hmm. It's a non-surgical procedure. What and this do you is do? A, this is an outpatient procedure, and then and we actually do through with endoscopy I think again. We've got a video. Oh, of you this do. We Very good. Let's take a look at. Take it a look at yeah. I'm a visual see, person. I like to see. Yes, yeah, so you can see that's the gastric bypass patients who actually had a, 
after the procedure, you saw the opening, which is actually very dilated. What we do is with an endoscope, you see the scope that is coming from the top in the mouth, mm -hmm. and then we place those sutures inside the, so that we can narrow that opening so that patients can feel full again. So it, it accomplishes the same as we were talking yes. about with the balloon. It's yeah. that idea where you feel full. full. It's exactly. just a different exactly. solution for it different is. patients. And, and you know, initially for the gastric, after the gastric bypass, everybody says, I feel full immediately. Mm -hmm. But after two, three years, they're like, you know, I don't feel that fullness. I don't feel that sensation. I need something more. And I'm starting gaining weight. And that's, this is where it fits really well. Mm -hmm. That's a good option. It is good Are there option. any risks with that? You no, know, it, uh, it is safe as endoscopy. You, know, you had endoscopies, a lot of people does colonoscopies. Mm -hmm. You know, you had the colonoscopy done, and this is as safe as endoscopy procedure. Mm -hmm. For either option, does a doctor need to refer, uh, maybe their primary care physician need to refer them to you, or how it, does it work? It, uh, actually, patient, a lot of times patients self-refer to us. Mm -hmm. And then we see them, and we determine whether the patient, this procedure is for them or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are some things we watch, and we all go through their medical history, and then see whether they are, it is safe to do any of the mm -hmm. procedures at all. Yeah. So that's so maybe the first conversation, yes. just to give you a call. We've yeah. got the website and uh, I'm thinking on our too, webpage, too. The second Wednesday of every month, if yes. you're not ready to make the call, yes. but you, you're in that seminar. exploratory phase where yes. you just want to learn about options, yes. the second Wednesday of every month, I think, is the smartest place to start. Yeah. In addition to your website, and we'll show you that address, too, if you just want to start to read up on some of this. Um, but you're welcome to go see Dr. Nandapati and his colleagues at Creighton University Medical Center, of course, part of the CHI Health Bariatric Surgery Program. That website there, and then the number is 402-717-4846. Doctor, thanks a lot for coming well, in this thanks morning. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Nice to be here. This is exciting time. It is. It is. Yes. Thank you. Thanks. Nice to be here.